I'm very excited about this one. I'm headed to Wild Animal Sanctuary in Keensburg, Colorado. Once you make your way inside, you pay your $50 to help the animals. And then you watch a video if you want. You can watch it online too, and I'll put a link for more information. But you watch a video and then you head out to look for the animals. We've also expanded into helping other species of animals as well. In 2023, the sanctuary opened our newest facility, the Wild Horse Refuge. With over 22,000 acres of land, it's our largest facility with plenty of room for the herds of wild mustangs to roam freely. There's a gift shop, cafe, bathrooms, and an elevator, ice cream shop. I'm sure this place is very busy during the summer, but of course I like to go places when they are less busy. The walkway is a mile and a half down and you turn around and it's a mile and a half back. So plan for that three mile walk. My slight OCD issues caused me to turn around and go back to make sure my van was locked. All right. So this is not a zoo. The animals are not up front and close to you. They're at a distance. But that's part of the charm of this place, I think, is you actually have to look for the animals. So you're almost on a safari. I guess they were running a special and provided a monocular to guests. My first time using one. There were people by me, so I covered my camera, but you can hear a lion. My pointing needs work. That's where I started, that white tent up there. And then there's another tent right there. That's, um, I would say, maybe halfway, I guess. That There's a tiger in the distance. If you remember the Netflix documentary or series called Tiger King, this is one of those tigers. The Wild Animal Sanctuary has rescued, I think, over a hundred animals from that show. It's really nice to see these animals have much more space and a much better life. There is a lot of land here. It's very spread out, so along the walkway you get to see only some of the rescued animals. If you bring binoculars, you can see a lot more, I'm sure. I left mine in the van but there's still plenty to see on the walkway. Like I said, this is not a zoo. You actually have to do a little hunting. one walking over there by the snow and then there's a white one laying down well no it's not white but the stomach is white you can see that laying there 
much better life for these guys here than where they were before. I think this is another bear habitat and I was talking to one of the volunteers and she said that they do hibernate here and they have to feed them quite a bit before they can hibernate and a lot of them are not used to hibernating because where they have been kept and mistreated but I guess a black bear was out earlier today and I don't see anything out right now but I'm gonna look again on my way back quite a few airplanes flying overhead Lots of birds. I think this is the area where they they first start out here. They're they're kept in smaller cages just to get them used to the climate in the area. I think that's just a snack bar. I uh, might as well go check it out. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah, I see. A black leopard? Mm -hmm. And is he new? No, he's been here oh, okay. for quite a while. He's, he's getting older actually. Oh. This is the tiger roundhouse where they're introduced. Usually the tigers and we've had lions in there before. There's nobody in there right now because um, everybody's been put out into their yeah. habitats. Yeah, okay. And Nice area at the end. Grab a snack, rest, relax before you head back. Thank you. And just like that, the weather is shifting. The wind has picked up quite a bit, it's starting to get colder, and the sun is on its way down. It's a little bit of sensory overload when you first walk in, but once you pick a video to watch and settle in, it's pretty easy to follow along, learn more about the wild animal sanctuary. At first this seems like a small cage, but there's actually a door there and they could go out to a really a nice, much bigger area to roam around. You know they're relaxed. Yeah. It's a nice sunny day. It's changing, I think. We're, yeah, we might get some weekend, rain or snow. Oh, we'll, yeah. We'll enjoy today. He looks at me, he watches me, then he gets up, stretches a little, looks at me again, and then
and lies down at my feet. Looks like a lion over there. Just laying there in the sun. Bald eagle. Three bald eagles still on the poles. The fourth one flew away right in front of me. There's a bear out. Looks like a little cat wandering around in the bear habitat. There's a very large habitat behind you and to the right, or to the northwest, where grizzly bears live. You will see many above and below ground dens, as well as a large pond the bears can use for swimming and cooling off in the summer months. I caught the very last part of a disagreement. The white tiger did not get the last word. this out a little bit. So this is where I parked and you, this is the main building and then the walkway and there's animals that you can't see out here <laughs> and, um, and then all the animals that you can see closer to the walkway. But so the walkway and I guess this tent is not halfway. It's a little less than halfway, I'd say. And then um, you continue walking down to the... This is where I had a little treat. And there's a roundhouse here, educational. A lot of videos to watch and learn more about. 
the wild animal sanctuary. And you can, there's a couple other ramps that you can go off and walk, but um, mainly I did walk down this one. I saw some camels, but uh, so, and then you just turn around and you walk back to the main building. Keep in mind that the animals are moved around. Their habitats are moved around quite a bit, but give you an idea of the animals that are at the sanctuary. Well, I'm on my way out. It was a beautiful day. Just enjoyed it very much. Before I go, I wanted to give another view of the walkway. It's pretty neat. As you can see, you're up high enough, you get a really good view of the animals, but it, at the same time, and probably more importantly, you're not bothering them or scaring them. It's really a win-win. You're paying money to see the animals, but that money is going directly to help the animals. I'm staying at a Love's tonight, but I'm a little antsy at Park. I don't like it. Park again, don't like it. Park again, don't like it. Then I decide maybe I need to get something to eat. So I go to Carl's Jr. to get a burger. Good. Then I'm trying to figure out where it, so I go over by the hotel. I First I pull in forward, I don't like it. And then I back in. I'm still very antsy. Not sure what's going on. Let me adjust my coat. That'll help. How about wash my face? Start getting ready for bed. Changed into my pajamas, well half of my pajamas. Still not sure what I'm gonna do. Drink water. Check my steps. I'm very close. It's a good place to walk at the wild animal sanctuary. Now I'm gonna eat. Haven't had a burger for a while. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I don't like driving at night, so I have to make a decision. Drink some lemonade. Put my hair up for the night. Should I read? No. Maybe I should put my window covers up. Nope, not sure I'm going to do that because I don't know if I'm staying here. Okay, I made a decision. I'm If I'm not feeling good where I am, it's time for me to go. So, not sure where I'm headed, but I'm leaving the area. get my steps in and I ended up moving to a different location but I'm gonna call it a night I got to bed late so I slept late not in a big hurry to do anything <laughs> but I do need to work out so today is chest and abs and some stretches for my spine So, I 
ended up leaving the the Love's truck stop. I'm not sure why. For some reason, I just didn't feel great about being there. I decided to move, so I ended up being a little stealthy last night. And it was fine. It worked out just fine. Uneventful. I looked over some of the you know the filming that I did at the wild animal sanctuary and it doesn't look very good so I'm hoping I can put something together so it's clear what an amazing place it is I think I better get out of here Great, thanks, you too.